back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can actually manage or configure our Zoom add-on from the front-end side. So this scenario is pretty helpful when you have a website and you don't want your users or organizers to get access to your backend, but you still want them to have uh, rights to configure their Zoom add-on using their own credentials and manage their meetings and user list individually from the front end as well. So to demonstrate it, let me go ahead and log in using an organizer account over here. So here we have a pretty much bare bone backend. Let's go ahead and go to front end. We go to meeting dashboard. But before that, but before all of this, make sure you have already created two pages to let your user access them and use the appropriate shortcode provided by our add-on to display data into those pages. So we have meeting dashboard and our ad meeting page. You can look on the shortcode section on our Zoom add-on from the backend side for the meeting dashboard shortcode and paste it in the page. And the meeting submission form shortcode for the ad meeting page and put it there for your users to use. So to use the Zoom add-on, so in order to use the Zoom add-on, we need to configure them using a separate JWT credentials or OAuth credentials. Let's go ahead and do that. So here we see our standard Zoom add-on settings page as we did on the backend. We have to set it up using our own JWT or OAuth credentials. So let's set it up using JWT credentials as of now. So let's go ahead, open a new tab with marketplace.zoom.us. I'm signed in here. You might need to sign in for this operation. So let's hover on develop, build app. We're gonna create a JWT app. Name our app. Hit on continue. Here we have to fill out these basic details such as our company name. Our own name. And our email and let's hit continue again so here we have our API credentials we're gonna copy our API key first paste it here copy our API secret paste it here so I'm not gonna set up vanity URL as of now as I don't need it uh, for this demo and I'm gonna leave this all settings as default as they are basically you can go ahead and tweak them if you want and if we hit save changes here it says zoom account connected now let's head over to our meeting dashboard so we have our zoom account status over here as well so we can now go ahead so now we can go ahead and add a meeting from this page so here we have our standard meeting submission form let's fill these details out we have our name let's give this a description Let's set a date for this meeting. Pass that time. And we have our standard 40 minutes of duration time. And let's leave this password field empty as it's gonna generate a password anyway. And I'm leaving these settings as default as they are. Again, you can go ahead and customize them as per your need. So if we hit submit here, so it says meeting listed successfully. You can click over here to go our meeting dashboard. And here we see our meeting title, our meeting ID, our date and time. You can even start the meeting from here. And our meeting action, we can edit the meeting from here, even delete it. So from this dashboard, we can do pretty much everything we were able to do from the backend. We can create meetings, edit them, delete them. We can manage our settings. And we can sync our Zoom meetings, which been created via Zoom Zone dashboard. We can click over here. And if we click OK again, it's gonna sync with our Zoom dashboard. And we can even go over here to our Zoom user list to manage our users. We can click on this Add button to add a new user over here or click on sync users 
to sync our user list with Chrome's dashboard as well. So this is how you actually manage your uh, Zoom configuration or meetings or users from your front end. This feature, in my opinion, is pretty helpful when you want your users to or organizers to have access to these uh, features, but you don't want them to be able to access the backend for like security reasons or management reasons. So this front end management feature will come handy in a big way. So being that said. We have come to an end. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.